Oh, hello. 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 What is this in your hand? Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah. Well, this is a good idea, I think. Who else do we want? Yeah. Um, who else do you want in just the us. class? <laughs> just, just you three. So on to Miguel. Miguel. So ah. Uh, uh, Tan. Ma Mana oh yeah, Tan, of course, yeah. Um, Cecilia also. That's Cecilia. Oh, Cecilia. I don't know if I have Cecilia on my Facebook. Let me just find the Tan. <laughs> Not fair. Osama. Osama. Oh yeah, Osama. He's not been in my class today, so I'm on. Manel, Osama. Yes, I've already done that now. Yeah. Who's that? Uh, Saad, scam. I don't think I have Cecilia. Let me check. So, no. How do you spell her name? C E C. Uh, Hi. Should what? be like this. Yeah, yeah, I don't have her. Let me check. Yeah, maybe you do. <laughs> Can you guess what I'm doing at this very second? Hmm? Can you guess what I'm doing? Uh, you are your, doing... Your teeth? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the class hasn't started yet, so... <laughs> Don't worry, so no one will... <laughs> oh, it's recorded. Smell your breath. <laughs> I just do one second. <laughs> mm. What is her last name, Cecilia? Do you know? No. Mm, me too. Oh, Tom, you made it. <laughs> we have an elite group today. All right. Oh, so good. Start then. Um, what are you eating at the moment, Sissy? Yes. What are you eating? <laughs> it's 12 p.m. Right now. 12 p.m.? No, I mean the time. It's 12, sorry, not 12, 11 p.m. 11 p.m.? Yes. Ah, oh, so you should be eating. No, I've done eating and everything. Well, you don't eat at that time. No, I just had dinner, let's say, two hours uh, ago. Yeah. Sure, it's at nine, yeah. nine o'clock. What did you cook so today? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Fred? What did you cook today? Have you not been attention? <clears throat> I said I ordered what? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, We had earlier, didn't we? Oh, keep up. <laughs> Normally, you, you don't pay attention, so so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, today's class is I've forgotten. Intermediate uh, speaking and listening. So using the words to and either. 
or either, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Okay. What do you normally say, either or either? Yes. American, British. <laughs> I say either. I think it, I think it's a regional thing, though. I think people from the south say um, either. I say either. I say either. I think, so we'll assume that, either one's wrong. I think that the origin of this word is Arabic. Maybe. Why? What's wrong? Uh, uh, no, because in Arabic we have the word Ivan. It means uh, two. It has a similar name, isn't it? Ivan. Kind of. It has even. Yeah, it's the same meaning in, in Arabic. Either. Either. Okay. There are some words in English from Arabic, but I thought they were just nouns. Uh, for example, I think they were car no. was carpet. Carpet. Ah, yeah. Carpet from Arabic. No, I think camel. It's like Arabic, German camel, maybe. But there are lots of words uh, in English originated from Arabic. Let's have a look. And you have yogurt. Uh, in Turkish it means yogurt. It's come from Turkish. Yeah. This word is the same like, in every language, isn't it? Yeah, because uh, yeah. it's like Which a word? Uh, yogurt. Yoga? Yes. No. You know, there's, there's loads of Arabic loan words in Spanish, aren't there? It'd be French, Yagor. Yeah. Let me have a look. Um, this is a, a Wikipedia article, so it could be entirely false. Two twice in the Turkish, right? What? Ta Turkish person in the year? Can you speak English? Can you say yeah. slowly, Tommy? Turkish person is Ta here. Turkish. Who is here? Turkish yeah. person. Sir, so is a Turkish person. Yeah, I'm oh. a old friend. And the name is a Chuba Tefik, and the name is a friend. It was hard. Okay. That is a Turkish name. Right. Ah, so, uh, okay, we're okay. going to have a look at this article. Uh, Susu, can you read it for me? Oh, sorry, you've got the switch here. <laughs> Um, this is on Wikipedia, so it might not be real. Ah, uh, man, it's just like. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, don't know. Depends what Google wants us to start. The screen share. Right. Come on. Ah, here it is. <clears throat> so, can you see my screen? Yes. I make it yes. bigger, please. Yeah. Make it bigger, please. Yes. Is this big enough? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's now is uh, just wheat. So let's have a look at some of the words that are Arabic loan words. Tommy, I think you have a lot of noise. Or somebody does. Me? Maybe. No, maybe not. Uh, somebody has some noise. Yeah, I hear it. Is it uh, Sawad? No? Yes? Let's see. Right, let's stop there. Right, so let's have a look at some of the loan words that are from Arabic into English. Just so the first word, Admiral. 
Well, no, we're going to have a look through some of them. Mm. It's one, that, one that's interesting. Yeah. Okay. Algebra. 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 Yeah. Algebra. Yeah. Um, we need this. Do you know this one? I don't find one that isn't a noun. What? Does it smell? I want to find one that isn't a noun. Like I want to find a word that's like common, that um, is a language word, or like useful, you know? Because like nouns, there's loads of nouns. Do you speak Arabic? Languages. Me? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. Very little. I don't think so. Don't you pay attention, so so? What? I can speak a little bit of Arabic. Because then you're fine. It says that you speak uh, Arabic. Arabic. How do you say, Gwolo? Uh, how do you say how are you in Arabic? <laughs> Kifik? That's like Lebanon, isn't it? Ah. They say like uh, Al Kahifik or something. Al Kahifa? Depending on the chain. No. Yeah, yeah. Yes. That's yeah, it. No. But they say Kifik. Okay. They say Kifik as well, don't they? In, Le in like Lebanon and the uh, Levant area, they say like Kifik have, or Kifak. Have, have you yeah. been to Lebanon? No. Uh, my Turkish friend and uh, old Turkish friend name is uh, Tefik, and uh, Chuba lady lady name is. Just me. Oh look, this is yeah. relevant. Read this oh. one. Um, um, no. Okay. Uh, okay, jumper. Okay, jumper dress or ball for sweater. Jabba. a loose oh. outer garment. The word is. In the twelve, uh, so should I continue the reading the old paragraph? Yeah, why not? Or, the, or just the word? Read up to right here. Okay. Oh. The word is in eleventh century Italian Latin Europa, a jacket of Oriental origin, mid twentieth uh, century Latin jabon, and late twelfth century French job men jacket. So did the English. Ooh. Fourteen. 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 And blah 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 blah. We'll see another word. Because <laughs> we were talking about that last class, weren't we? Yes. Uh, the clothing, the shopping. Uh, magazine. Um, I don't see magazine. It. Yeah, I've seen it. I'm trying to find oh. one that. I was trying to I find one that wasn't no. like a noun. But. Serendipity. <laughs> Serendipity. Sofa. Sofa. Yeah. Sofa. I've already this one. This word. Sofa. Serendipity. Serendipity. Oh, it's, it's sad. Serendip. You... Like a pony. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's sad. But Can I don't know this one? word in Arabic. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This word was created in English. In one thousand seventeen fifty five from Serendip, uh, from, sorry, fifty four from Serendip, an old fairy tale place from Serendip, an old Arabic name for Sri, Sri Lanka, port filled in English by its resemblance to the etymological unrelated serenity, the fairy tale, yeah, for the three princes of Serendip. Thank you. Let's try another one. Uh, uh, just, just, just I'm a question. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, archaic blue said an uh, French word or uh, Arabic word. I didn't hear what? understand any of that. Archaic blue. Are you trying to speak that, English or Arabic? Yeah, French <laughs> word. French word or Arabic word, and I'm. A... I speak Arabic, and the second language in in my country is French, so I know French not very well, but I I can understand and speak a little. Are you from Tunisia? Arukaiqui, Blue. Are you what? Arukaiqui Blue. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> <Arukai -kui. laughs> Sorry. I that doesn't mean say the all the blue meaning about them. Uh, like, uh, <laughs> Can someone explain to me? <laughs> French word blue. Arukaik blue. Yeah, yeah. All the blue meaning about them. Uh, like, uh, 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> sunburn and uh, like a uh, like a blue in uh, like a uh, like a. Uh, sorry, Sam. I don't understand. Sorry. Arukai blue. Arukai blue. Asama. No, no, no. You sound like Jap. Uh, like a French word or like a. <laughs> no, rap no, rap? you don't sound like a French word. <laughs> French <laughs> word? Yeah, that's it. Are you speaking uh, okay, Japanese? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm typing. I don't there. know what language. Yeah. Just a moment. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Uh, Asama. Asama? Good teacher. Hello, yeah. everyone. Hello. Can you read the magazine one for me? Uh, okay. Uh, magazine. Uh, Store houses from Arabic, wrote uh, Kazin to store, used in Latin with that uh, meaning in 1228 uh, in uh, Marseille, which is the earliest known record in Western language. It's still used Marseille, yeah. that way today. It's still used that way today in French, Italian, Catalan, and Russian. Sometimes uh, uh, used that way in English in the uh, sixth to eighth century, but more uh, commonly in English, a magazine was the a gun power store, and later uh, a quarter uh, for a store for restoring a public a magazine in published since of. That in English in the 17th century, meaning a store of information about military or navigation subjects. Okay, thank you. Can you just read a couple of words for me? Can you read this word? Okay, Marseille. 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 Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and this word? Catalan. Uh, Catalan. Yeah, Cat Catalan. Catalan. Uh, oh, I've lost it. <laughs> there, there's one. There's one more hand. Where is it? And also, can you read this bit? Yeah. Uh, did, yeah did you see it? Uh, let me find it again. Right again. Summer, can you read the highlighted bit? Uh, I can see it. Uh, uh, now it's 16th uh, to 18th. Yeah, good, thank you. Okay, so let's try and find that word. Uh, we'll very quickly try and find where the word ether comes from. See if that's Arabic as well. Um, Either. Word origin for the word either. <laughs> Do you know what? Ah, oh, let me see. Doesn't say. So this is Indo-European though, which means it's not Arabic. Do you know what Indo-European means? Yeah. What Indo-European languages are? Okay. But it's the same. In Arabic, we say Ivan. Okay. I don't know. It means two. Either. In Arabic, no. we say I. I'm um, type right. Ada. Ada. <laughs> Archaic blue spell. What is it meant to mean? It's a old blue meaning about the same. Ar archaic means old. Can mean old. Yeah, Arca maybe. Archaic. Archaic. That's the word actually. Uh, Write the spell, please. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to spell it. Archaic. I think that's right. Archaic. 
Yeah. Okay. Yes. So. But um, yeah, the it could just. Do you know what Indo-European languages are? No. no. Maybe French or Arabic. Which word is? Uh... Arabic isn't. It's like um, the, like uh, Romance. Um, German, no. Yeah, Romance languages. Uh, Germanic. Uh, Nordic. Uh, what else? Um, like uh, Iranian. Iranian languages, like Iranian, Farsi languages. India uh, too. Yeah, Hindi, Hindi and Urdu, but like the North North Indian ones, like uh, North Indian languages. Yeah. The ones in the south, like Punjabi, they're they're different. Indo uh, European language. Yeah. yeah. Language. But like um, Arabic is different. A different language group. It's like the same mm. language group as like yeah. Hebrew. And, yes. and Turkish Armenian is a different. Also. Yeah. Is it, uh, sorry? Armenian. Ar Armenian. Armenian yes. is separate, isn't it? Mm. Uh, Armenian is like it. separate to everything else. Yeah. Yeah. Armenian is like on its own, I think. But and then Turkish is like. There's loads of Turkish languages, aren't there? It's good. Yes. And also like it's similar to. Yeah, it's quite similar to Mongolian, and I think there's some similarities with Turkish and Korean as well. <laughs> Turkish and Korean. <laughs> yeah, there's some. So uh, no, obviously the script's very different, but apparently they're related. But let's get on with what the actual lesson is. So forgotten. What the, oh yeah, <laughs> two and either is, is what we're meant to be looking at. <laughs> so, open back up the spreadsheets. Right. So, is this the right one? Two and either, yeah. Right, so, uh, to start with, we'll just have a look at some examples of when you use two and when you re use either. So to begin with, we've just got some grammar boxes. Uh, oh, I need to move it, but right. right. What can you see on the screen? You. Me. Yes. <laughs> Do you find it interesting? Yes, yeah, Semitic, Semitic languages. I'd say Semitic, Semitic. But yeah, that's like Arabic and Hebrew. And isn't it Aramaic? Sissy, do you know what Aramaic is? No, what is it? Aramaic? Like, no, it's not from. Uh, I mean, it's from like. Uh, it's like an extinct language. That is Greek from. From like the Middle East, Aramaic, but it, it doesn't exist anymore. But I think it's one of the Semitic, like, Semitic, Semitic oh. languages. Okay, so let's have a look at this article. So um, no, I, ca I can't hear you. Kalimerasas, Kalimerasas, mark this, mark this. Tam. Could you start reading for me, please? Okay. To either. To. Statement about present. I'm tired. Short answers. I am too. I'm working now. I am too. I work every day. I do too. Some examples of two, and um, here's some of the other. Ones. So, um, Sevek, can you read the next box? Yes, he was tired last night. Read, the, was title. read the title as well. Statements about the past, short answers. He was tired last night, she was too. He was working last night, she was too. He worked last night, she did too. 
Okay, thank you. Um, the summer, can you read uh, us? Us? Can you read the next one? Okay, which one? Okay. Uh, this one. Uh, us. Statement about future. Yeah. Exactly. You're going to work here tomorrow. They are too. You're watching there next week. They are too. You work tomorrow. They will too. Okay, thank you. Um, next, uh, As Asama. Can you read the next one? I'll just move it down. You have two summer now. Yeah, yeah, that's what that's what I realized when I said it. So um Us, I could use and you don't yes. Osama. Right. My twin brother. Yeah. So Osama. <laughs> but your names are different, aren't they? It's Nick to me. Yeah, but aren't your names different? Slightly. No, no his it's name actually the same. No, his name is written in English and mine is in French, it's the same. Uh, it's exactly the same. Okay, yeah. uh, well, Osama, can you read this one? The next box. Statement uh, of model. They might work tomorrow. He, we might too. And continue. Can work tomorrow. We can too. They'd like to work tomorrow. We would too. Okay, thank you. Then we'll go on to the other box, which has examples of this word, so either or either, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Um, so, who am I writing to here? So, have you read? You read first, didn't you? Um, Susu, can you read first, please? What? Can you read? <laughs> no, I know. Okay, either. Statement about the present and their short answers. I'm not tired. I'm not either. I'm not working now. I'm not either. I don't work on Sunday. I don't either. Thank you. Uh, no, uh, so mm. the, the next one. Uh, statements about the future. No, no, this one. The past. Uh, yeah. okay. So statements about the past and the short answers. He wasn't tired last night. She wasn't either. He was not working last night. She was not either. Uh, he didn't work yesterday. She didn't either. You sound like a farmer when you say <laughs> like. Can you say this word again? Which e she the, wasn't this either. E either. Uh, either, not either. Okay, either. Okay, Say either. It sounds like um, well, it's like a West Country accent, but like a farmer, a farmer that drives like a tractor. They probably say like either. Is that how you say it? <laughs> <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Right. Either. She didn't either. Yeah, she didn't either. We swallow the R at the end, or just we say either or either. <laughs> either. We swallow the R. No, not yeah. either. No. Either. No. I show you the person that would probably say either. Either. Uh, no. either. No. No, the, the way you say when you say either, it's like, yeah, it's yeah. an accent from the UK yeah. which is really associated yeah. with, like, okay. I don't know. Let me see. <laughs> West. Look. The West Country Ooh, is the southwest of so, so like somebody like this, <laughs> they say like either. That's why you laugh. So, yeah, that's why I was laughing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So these are, they're the pe sort of people that would talk like that. Yeah. Like either. <laughs> Americans so, also say either. <laughs> but no, the way she was pronouncing it was just like yeah. how they either. Yeah. <laughs> America is a weaver. <laughs> Right. Um, uh, they won't either. Yeah, either. <laughs> okay. Um, have we read this one? Statements about the future? No. Okay. Uh, tell me, read this one, please. Statement about the future. Shortly answer. 
You aren't going to drive there. They aren't either. You aren't driving there tomorrow. They aren't either. You won't drive there. They won't either. So thank you. And um, is everybody read? I haven't. You haven't? Alright, okay. Do you want to read the last one then? Statements with motto. They may not work this afternoon. Short answers. We may we might not either. They may not work this afternoon. We may not either. They can work this afternoon. We can't either. They don't want to work this afternoon. We don't either. Um, can you read the comment at the bottom? Although don't want is a is not a model. It is a negative of the model would like. Okay. Do you understand? Do you have any questions? Do you have any questions so far? No. You happy? Okay. Let's move on to the next bit. So we have some grammar notes. So um, can um, Us, Can you read from number one, please? I haven't read. Do you have? You just read. Uh, Us, can you read number one? You normally want me to miss you out anyway. Oh, I have a question. What? Uh, instead is of, it, for example, is it related the... to um, Susie's toast. No. Okay. Okay. Good. <laughs> okay. For example, uh, the main sentence is "You won't go," and the next sentence, uh, "I won't either." Instead of "I won't either," can I say "I will neither"? No. no. So, can you type it? Because I'm not sure what you mean. You won't go. This main sentence. So, other person, he won't either. Instead of this. Can I he will neither. No. Because no. you can say. What we say, uh, me neither. When it's, neither no. is when you get. You put it between like two words, don't you? So it's neither orange nor like. So you could say, for example, Suso puts neither uh, jam nor peanut butter on her toast. So that. No. I mean, like this, so, when you... So you put, but you put between two words. No, this is used. Negative word, yeah. Me neither. Mm -hmm. Yes. Me neither. Ah, mm -hmm. yeah, you can say that, me neither. But then you don't need the middle word, do you? Me neither. I'm not sure if that's right, though. It sounds a bit... I hear people say it, but I don't think it's right to say it. Let me... Look, it sounds kind of. Who is the crash sound? Yeah. You should say like, neither do I. Hmm. Yes. That's better way. Neither do. Hi. Neither do I. Though you would hear people say me neither, but it's not correct. Really? Yeah. Neither do I. But people definitely say both. It's, uh... Okay. Red signal. Car stop. Neither and car crash. Car crash.
No. Don't do that. Here is. Who? Right. Okay. So um, that answers your question, yeah. Yes. So, right. So, I'm in the sentence. Right. Sentence. <laughs> to make it clear for a secret. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> right. Well, let's tell I'll send you the link to the cluster. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, Oos, do you want yeah. to read number number one for me, please? Me? In Is your name Oos? No, it's not. Okay. Okay. Where, where's Me? Noise? No. Who is not noise? It's very, very loudy, like. Uh. Okay. Can I read now? Yeah. From in unit 10 and 12, you did. In, in unit 10 and 12, you learned that Q can mean more than enough. Its meaning of to always has negative meaning. It's too young to go to kindergarten. Another meaning of two is also used uh, use this meaning of two to agree with an affirmative statement. A. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. B. I am too. I'm hungry. Two e equal A is hungry. B is also hungry. Remember, there are no contractions for affirmative short answers. Note, in speaking and in informal writing, you can say me to instead of I am to. It's skipper. <laughs> what? Can you hear me? Too fast. Sorry, I mean, I was muted. Um, do you understand that bit? Why mute? Because everyone's noisy. This is noisy. Um, I'm not. No, but Keep your voice is. Back down. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. Okay. 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 Right. Uh, so the, any question is okay, right? Yeah, yeah. Do you, what questions do you have? Uh, that and uh, like uh, hungry and uh, like uh, I'm too, right? Uh. Yeah. Yeah. So the first person says I'm hungry, then. The second person could say, I am too. So yeah. they both agree. Okay. Is everybody else? I don't think. Ah. I wonder if it is me. I think the noise is actually. Ah. It's me, isn't it? Or not? It's been always you. It's not always me. <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> it's, sometimes it's this person that doesn't speak. No, it's a frequency like sound that is trouble in making that. Yeah. No, but you have like car noises or something like that? No, that... Behind the, oh! Uh, I know what it is, maybe. Music sure. and uh, something who, who is... No, the like... Uh, the... I don't know, I don't know. Noise. Stop it sound now. like you're having a party. Yeah. Some music in the street. Yeah. I can't hear it that like, loud. Oh. Who, who, who is party? It's just music playing in the street. Mm. Oh yeah. Okay, Let, let's uh, carry on then. Uh, Saad, can you read number two for me, please? Okay, yes. number two. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Use either to agree with a negative statement. Uh, oh, I'm not thirsty. Uh, it's at the top. Yeah. Collection. Uh, it's one, not two. Yeah, two in a cannot be. Okay, yeah. Ah. Uh, Number two. Number two is here. I'm Carry not, on here. I'm not thirsty either. A is not thirsty. Is also not thirsty. 
That's it. He is also not thirsty, yeah. So that uh, also says, A says, I'm not thirsty. So the other person says, I'm not either. Or it can be, I'm not thirsty either. So you say, I'm not either. Or, I'm not thirsty either. Okay. Yeah? Okay, so just look at number three. Uh, Sevek, can you read number three, please? Yes. We usually give short answers with two and either, but long answers are also possible. He studied hard, she did too, or she studied hard too. It's blurry. I'm not wearing a heavy sweater, I'm not either, or I'm not wearing a heavy sweater either. Okay, do you understand that? Yes. Yeah. Okay, uh, Susie, can you read number four, please? For, okay, another way to agree with an affirmative statement is to use so and change the word order. I'm tired, so I am. I am too. What does it say? Mm, where is it? So really? am I. Yeah, I'm sorry. So am I. I am too. Okay, and Karen? Uh, another way to agree with a negative statement is to use neither and change the word order. For example, he didn't study, neither did she, or she didn't either. So that's like your, what you said earlier, so that. Yes. What? So like, what? neither do I. This bit. So neither do I. You could change it for neither, neither do I. Neither did she. Ah, okay. Neither do I. Okay. So, I. do you have any questions about these? No, not really. No. no. D uh, uh, Tommy, do you have any questions? Nothing. Nothing. Bob. I don't either. Bob. Maybe. It would be good, teacher, if you hide the the answers or the screen, and you just ask us. <laughs> Yeah, that's what we're going to do next. I just uh, asked you if you understood what you said. Normally. <laughs> these, are not the, these are not questions, these are examples, aren't they? There's no... Yeah. Yes. For example, uh, and then now is the next test. Yeah. So that, oh, okay. this is the bit that says, focused practice. Because yeah. we were focused on practicing. <laughs> right here yeah, and uh, through uh, the left here yeah, so, and... Uh, Go on. Right. <laughs> um, so, uh, tell me number one, please. Number one? Yeah. Uh, Neza, oh no, I forgot their anniversary. It we matches. didn't, didn't, didn't raise No, 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 look. What letter is that? Uh, 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 G. G. So G, so it matches with G. So, yeah. Oh, you don't have the picture? What picture? What's the what, what meaning picture? G O. No. I forgot the anniversary. We didn't right. raise it. Oh, who is the sound? That is not me. Shut up! <laughs> my head's in, my head's in. Right, so, um, yeah, so the first one matches with G. So, oh no, I forgot their anniversary. And then it's G, I did too. Right, so, um, uh, Seven, no, Tan, can you do number two? I was four, J, I was two. Yeah, I was bored, and um, so I was two. Okay, uh, number three, Seven, please. Yes, we are not working today. Um, are you work? Oh. It should be. I think it's a future. 
Dizzy. I think it's F. H. No. F. She's not either, no? Yeah, it may be she's not either. But it should be something starting with V, I think. No, no not necessarily, oh, not no. Working today. Maybe, is there anything uh, under the page, maybe? Another entries? After J? I don't think so. Maybe D? No. No. So we're not working today. She's not either. She's not either, I think. Mm -hmm. The best answer. Do you think? Uh, I think maybe D. No, it's not D. It's positive. D positive. Uh, mm. Other uh, other sections doesn't match because of the uh, positive and negative situation and the auxiliary verb or model. The best answer. Ah, negative, negative, negative. She's not either. either. Okay. Yeah. So, so which one is it? She's not either. Yes. Could there be anything else? No, no. I think. Number six? No. Number six? No. Say, I wasn't either. No. Maybe. It, time doesn't, oh. match, doesn't match. It's present tense. We are not <laughs> present. So, we're not working today. What section is now is that? Uh, yeah. Like, she, yeah, she's not either. Six or, uh, yeah. So number f four, yeah, number four. Um, can whose turn is it to read? Number four. Um, My turn. Uh, uh, Louise, can you speak? Can you hear us all right? Louise. No. Okay then. It's whose turn is it? Asama, Asama. We've not heard from you now. Okay. Number four. Uh, I didn't finish uh, the homework. Number four. Number. Uh, I, I think E. We didn't either. A. We didn't either. Does everybody agree? Yes. Yeah. Of okay. Course. So number five. Um, Louise, can you speak? We can't hear you. Am um, I didn't finish the homework? Then it's okay, right? No, that's four. I, I didn't I'm finish a, the I'm homework. No, we're matching them. No, I didn't finish the homework, and no. say so we didn't either. And so number five, can, Tan, can you read that? Tan? Tom? Okay, um, who's? Okay, which one? Uh, number five, please. She can't swim, her brother can't either. Yep, good. Okay, uh, Susie, can you read number six? We are going to the computer. There are two, D. I agree. Yeah. We're not going hey, to the computer. Yeah, I'm agree. There are two. Yes, yeah, they are two. Yeah, good. Okay, number seven. Um, Servet? Yes. Number they seven. might go to the movies tonight. I might too. Yep, yeah, good. <clears throat> and uh, Asama, can you read um, number eight? We weren't watching TV last night uh, at 10. Uh, Which one do you think it matches with? Uh, it wasn't either. 
Yeah, good. Does everybody agree? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, Tam, can you speak now? Tommy? Tom? No, Tam. Yes. Oh. Yep, can you read uh, nine, please? I will see them tomorrow. Okay. And which does it match with? We will too. We will too. Okay, good. And Tommy, can you read number eight? And uh, number ten. What then? I like this experience. Uh... Read number ten. Yeah, I like this experience. And, uh, this is experience. Uh, this moment. Uh, what can I say? A B C. No. What does the word say? What does the word say? Like, uh, H. No, Tommy. Listen. I said read this word. Tim, I like. This exercise. Okay. Ah. Oh, so, okay. so, which one do you think it matches with? Uh, like. Uh, just a moment. I might too. B. No. Can anybody help no. him? Uh, help, her, please. Just. I do too. Yeah, I do too. Ah, I see. Uh, e. I do too. Okay, so let's e. move. Okay. Everybody happy with that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, so let's have a look at the next bit. Next bit is a two e that um, Servic, can you read that, please? Yes. Pete and Eleanor are getting ready to go bicycle riding in the park. Listen to their conversation, then answer the questions. Check, yes, no, or I don't know. Oh, we can't actually do this. <laughs> I didn't think about it. Uh, I, I misread it. But you need to take. We can't do that. <laughs> Let's do that. <laughs> <clears throat> right. So, I think we should do some practice between you now. So, I want you to... <clears throat> make some statements and then somebody else needs to answer and say whether they agree or disagree whether and you have to use these words so you have to use two and either so do you understand yes make a question then somebody will reply and use two or or two either or neither, isn't it? Two either or neither in the response. Okay, so to start okay. with, uh, Servet. Yes. Can you uh, make a question for Asama? Okay. Osama, mm -hmm. will you join next class? I think I do. No, no, it needs to be a question he can answer with um, using the either, neither, or either. So yeah, it's more sorry, it's more of a statement, and then they have to. A statement is what I meant to write. A statement, and then they can agree or disagree with it. Okay. I'm going to join the next class. Okay. Me, me, me too. I think. Me too. Okay. Good. Uh, now, Asama, can you make uh, a question for the other Asama? <laughs> uh, okay. I can a, a, st a statement. A statement. Sorry. Okay, come on, brother. Sorry. So statement is two. I can speak French. French. 
No, you need to make a statement, and then uh, Us will, will agree or disagree with it. A question or what? A statement, like what Servet did for you. You need to make your own up, and then uh, Us will agree or disagree. Okay. I think I think like uh, watch a movie. So you like you like I like watching movies. I yes. Do. Yeah. Yeah, I do too. Use a different word other than two. It doesn't have to be what you think. Like confusing about the statement you're using or not? I like watching. I think I think we should use more negative so forms. We can use eight. No, you yeah. can say so do I. Yeah. Well, I just disagree with that. It doesn't have to be what you think. You could just disagree with it. Oh yeah. yeah. You can't, no, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah, his. Okay, so make a negative statement. Yeah. And it's for um, Tan. Who? Tan. P O N. Look, Tan. Who asked him the question? Your statement, Tan, is yeah. going to respond. I'm, I'm the one who's gonna ask Tan. Yeah. Making a statement? Okay. Yeah. Who's, who's making the statement first? You, you are, you are. Me? Yeah. To okay. Tom? No, to Tan. I can't. Uh, did, did you read it? John? And say it, say it. I can't stand injustice. I can't either. Very good. Uh, Tan, can you do one for um, is it Salad? Yeah. Which number? No, you've got to think of one. So, do. Uh, a, a negative statement, though. A negative statement. Oh, but it's ta for Tan. Tan is going to do it for you. Okay, shall I read it first? No. Right. Tan is going to make a negative statement, and then you've got to respond. Okay. Okay. I don't like Gloom. I don't like watching TV. Neither do I. Neither do I. Okay, thank you, Rick. Right. Uh, uh, Saad, can you do one for uh, Susu? Uh, just any sentence? Yeah, just a statement. And then a negative one, and then Susu will respond. Okay. I don't like going outside at night. Neither do I. Okay. Okay. And um, Susu, can you do one for Servet? Okay. <laughs> Servet, you need to use the word either though when you're done. So okay. it's either. Because nobody's used that. Ah! <laughs> I don't like Gelem. Oh, <laughs> I don't either. Oh, <laughs> uh, shame on you. Okay. Who said that? I don't <laughs> either. Yeah. Sorry. No, no, Did you remember what you wrote before? Huh? Uh, I can't okay. stand on the injustice. Uh, Right. 
So is everybody happy with what we've just done this class? Yeah. I think so. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you think so? Yeah. Okay, good. Um, it's useful. Right. So I'm trying to find something. Ah, um, look, this is what I'm looking for. So do, do you have any questions about what we did? No. No? Does any, anybody else have any questions? I see not yet. Uh, I'm see not yet. No. Okay, maybe you should practice it before the next class. Um, Susu, I just want you to read something for me. Okay? Okay. Let me just make it big enough. Right. Uh, let me answer. We use so do I like this. Can we make it? Can we use it for negative answers? Mm, you can say. So don't I, for example? No, you you say like I don't either, or mm. you can't say like I don't. So don't I. Mm -hmm. All right, but I'm just going to get you to read something for me, Susie. So when I can get it back on the screen share, right. I just want you to read this. That's my head. Ah. Sometimes this screen share is really slow. Come on, work. Ah. Right. Maybe no one wants uh, to listen to me read. There it is. There it is. <laughs> right. Can you read this for me? Oh my God. <laughs> this is the thank first. <laughs> okay. Mr. C owned a saw and